The world is full of the infinite beauty and infinite potential God created it with. Although we human beings can feel insignificant and small, we have God's divine love and support and His almost infinite power at our backs every moment of our lives and into eternity. God does so much for us. Don't we owe it to Him to give Him the one thing He needs from us? In all of creation, God has only one weakness, only one thing which can render Him powerless. But the grand irony is that we human beings can actually protect Him from this vulnerability. Yet for our Creator, we do nothing. And so it was, that God was with Judah, and he drove out the inhabitants of the mountain, but, God could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley, because they had chariots of iron. Presently only a handful of nations have any kind of restriction on the sale, trade, manufacturing, or ownership of iron chariots, and even fewer have an outright ban. As of 2022, it was even possible to buy a portable iron chariot that can be easily concealed inside a coat pocket on the internet for less than 100 American dollars. Yet, as human beings, we naturally love banning stuff. It's right up there with our other favorite things like sex, violence, hypocrisy, chocolate, music, and hunkering down in information silos. Just look at this picture. Admit it, at one point in time, you probably got really excited about banning one of these flags. Sure, you probably didn't want to ban both of them, but at one point, I bet you ignored a bunch of real stuff and went on about how banning one of these flags was really important. But for some reason, we humans can't get our shit together and pass anti-iron chariot legislation to protect the Almighty. Imagine, it's the day of judgment. God and the forces of good are swiftly defeating the host of hell. It's like a boss fight from Elden Ring, the end of Avengers Endgame, and the final battle from Return of the King are a super cool thruple and somehow they have had a gorgeous and totally awesome baby. Then, some total jerk, possibly the guy from work who you keep coming up with excuses not to friend on Facebook, shows up in an iron chariot. Suddenly, with God rendered helpless as a newborn kitten by the presence of an iron chariot, Satan is manhandling God. Sure, Satan probably won't kill God because deep down he still loves him. But Satan will probably give God a wedgie and leave God a blubbering mess. You'll want to help, but in a sense God will disgust you with how pathetic he is, and your revulsion will outweigh your empathy, so you'll probably do nothing while suggesting someone else be the one to help. But deep down, you'll know you could have prevented this. Do you want to look your once mighty? but now sniveling wretch of a creator in the eye, knowing that you could have stopped this. But there is hope. Visit banironchariots.org today to find out how you can get a grassroots movement promoting anti-iron chariot legislation started in your country, local region, and even your hometown. With all God has done for you, won't you help him today by doing your part to ban iron chariots?